fossil fuel. Mr. Rowe, uh, nuclear. Uh, you and I had a talk about nuclear and the feasibility of nuclear coming on uh, to the degree that's anticipated in this bill in 2020 and, and uh, 2030. Uh, what, what is the possibility of having that, that number of nuclear power plants? And last but not least, what do you think of the, uh, the natural gas title that's in this bill that encourages the use of natural gas? Uh, my feeling is that what it will do is take the pressure off going forward with nuclear and getting the carbon capture uh, technology that we need for coal. Senator Voinovich, as I said in your office, I believe that the six or eight units that are supported by the existing federal loan guarantee program will go forward and be in operation by 2020. I do not think there will be a significantly larger number than that. If those units are successful, I believe there will be more online by 2030, but as I told you in your office, I doubt that it will be many tens, let alone a hundred. And as your question implies, the economics of nu new nuclear at the present time are haunted by the fact that natural gas is and appears likely to be for the next decade uh, at very low prices. And so the low-cost solution uh, for the next decade is often natural gas, and that takes, as you say, pressure off to work on either new nuclear or the more advanced uh, forms of renewables that others like. Thank you very much.